I am going to give you a clear idea of what is Bootstrap and how we can build good websites using Bootstrap. With your HTML, CSS, you are going to build some interfaces. Have you built any website templates? Have you tried any website templates? Some? So with Bootstrap, by the end of this session, we will try to build one website, a complete interface of website, so that you will get an idea of how to design good websites with interactive content inside. So first, I will give you an overview how to practically start working with it. So first, we will discuss few basic points. First concept you should know what is bootstrap. So you are already a developer and you are building some websites. What is the main issue in building websites is to build websites lot of designs are required, interactive functionalities are required, which you can do manually by using CSS or by using JavaScript. CSS, JavaScript, HTML combination you can do. But uh, designing everything with manual CSS, JavaScript, it will take a lot of time. What is the main intention in real-time projects is as much as possible save time and build good interactive interfaces faster. So Bootstrap is actually, it is a component library used to build interactive UI faster. Technically, if anyone asks what is bootstrap and why we have to learn bootstrap. So first key concept is bootstrap is a component library. And the main intention of bootstrap is to build interactive UI. And you can build interactive UI faster. What is meant by component library? Component library is nothing but already some templates are designed and given to you. You have to just implement them and customize according to your requirements. For example, I will show you one concept. For example, we have websites like, suppose take Amazon. This is Amazon. In this Amazon, you can see there is a sliding banner here. I click on left, it will move to the previous. I click on right, it will move to the next automatically slides are changing. If anyone asks you to design like this, have you designed? You learned web designing, HTML and all. How to design like this? It will take a lot of coding. If you have learned CSS, you, will, you need CSS animations, CSS transitions, you need JavaScript because on button click next, previous, we have to move. So to build such interactive UI, you need lot of styles. You need lot of logic. But what Bootstrap will do is it will provide this ready-made. Just you have to take the logic, customize according to your requirements. That means you can design this very simply. 
without writing much logic. In our bootstrap, we are going to learn like this. We are going to design this. For example, you see on this button click, a toolbar will come. To design like this, it will take a lot of time. But we can create this using Bootstrap. In Bootstrap, you are going to learn all this. You are going to learn how to create this in an easier way. Because you learned HTML, CSS, and if you can't design like this, then there is no use. Because all real-time applications wants such interactiveness. So what Bootstrap is doing, it is a component library. What is meant by component? A component means it is just like a template, which already has some design, some presentation, and some logic, which you can customize according to your requirement, and you can use it. So what is advantage of this is to build good user interface faster. That is the main aim because we should not waste time in designing complex things. We should be able to design faster. Speed is always important matter in web development. You should not say that give me one day time I will design. You should be able to design in few minutes, few hours, good designs. For that, Bootstrap will help you. So it is a component library. Actually, it is open source and cross-platform library for building UI. It is an open source cross-platform library. You know the meaning of the words open source and cross-platform. Open source means what? So open source is about you can customize according to your requirements. Free is different, open source is different. Free means different. Free means license free. That means you don't need to purchase. You can simply use it. But open source means what? You can take the library. You can customize according to your requirements. If you take the library and can use exactly how they provide, then it is not open source. Open source means it should allow customization. Cross-platform means it can run on every browser. Here, our cross-platform means any device, any operating system, any browser can easily understand. For that, you need this library. And uh, here, so key point is, what is component library? Because we are saying Bootstrap is a component library, you should know what is component library. Technically, a component is nothing but a component comprises of three basic things. What are those? It contains markup, it contains styles, and it contains functionality. All these three are present. A component contains ready-made design, some effects and some functionality. You can customize according to your requirements and you can build it. You can build. I will show you the official website of this bootstrap. Actually, markup is done using what HTML and styles are defined by using what CSS and functionality by using what JavaScript. Here you don't need to learn any JavaScript for this. Without JavaScript also, you can create good interface with the functionality. And if you know JavaScript later, you can do more better. JavaScript, jQuery, they will be very helpful. But without that, we can design. Let's see. So. Like Bootstrap, so many are there. So what are other libraries? What are other libraries like Bootstrap? 
that means in many companies they use other libraries they don't use bootstrap every time there are so many other libraries like bootstrap other libraries popular we have twitter bootstrap we have tailwind we have like telerik these are all some third parties and others same like bootstrap like bootstrap there are so many there are so many i given only few actually you have like mui so you have like dev express so many are there companies will not stick to any one they can use different but as a web developer if you know any one you can handle others also if you learnt bootstrap then you can easily manage others for example i will show you here what is the main aim of all these people main aim of all these people is only one what is it build interactive ui faster observe here see i will show you this is get bootstrap this is the official website and see what these people tell about bootstrap see the word what they say so build fast that is the primary thing why everybody is worried about this speed because web development slow down your process to create good designs you have to invest lot of time but it will make it fast not only bootstrap like bootstrap there is another tailwind this is tailwind css several companies use this and see what they say they are also about same point what it is rapidly build model why speed rapid this is the main concept because that is what worried for developers developers are worried about fast speed we can easily achieve by using this there are so many others like this but if you handle bootstrap you can manage easily others if anyone asks you like is bootstrap is the only solution for this no like bootstrap there are so many other third parties several companies may be using them but uh, majority people use bootstrap and if you learn bootstrap and good in bootstrap easily you can manage others also right so we will discuss detailedly about bootstrap how to use it how to work okay so another important point is actually bootstrap versions bootstrap have lot of versions currently the latest version is that means uh, several projects projects in real time real time may be using bootstrap 3 and 4 versions bootstrap 3 and 4 versions but uh, the latest latest version of bootstrap bootstrap is 5 the latest version of bootstrap is bootstrap 5 this is the latest version in this class we will discuss this version companies may be still using old versions several projects are still working on old versions even your java dotnet php python like technologies they use different versions of bootstrap and uh, in real time companies many companies are still working with 4 and 3 latest version of bootstrap is what bootstrap 5 we are going to learn this bootstrap 5 because bootstrap 5 have introduced several new things which will make modern web designing very good it's very simple easy and very effective also latest they have introduced several new things 
So if you know all these, then it is very easy. So which version of Bootstrap we are going to learn? Five. We are going to discuss Bootstrap 5. Okay. I hope up to this everyone is clear. So what is the main aim of learning Bootstrap? So to rapidly build interactive UI. That means you can build good interfaces fast. We will prove that point. We will see how we can build interactive UI. For that first, we will learn how to set up environment and how do we start working with it. You already working with HTML now, right? And uh, if you are already learning HTML, you know editors and all. You are already using editors. Huh? Which editor? VS Code, Visual Studio Code. Any editor you can use for HTML and all. So I will show you environment setup. We will create a new project. For that, what you have to do, let's see. Set up environment for, for Bootstrap. So in project, how we set up environment for Bootstrap in project, we will see. These things you have to do first. First point is you have to download and install Node.js on your PC. You have to download and install Node.js on your PC. Without installing also how to use, I will show you. But to practice with all features easier, faster, you have to do what I am showing. You have to download and install Node.js on your PC. Actually, why to install is Node.js provides a package manager tool. So Node.js provides a package manager tool called NPM. It provides a package manager called NPM, Node Package Manager. What is package manager is actually package manager is used to install, update, uninstall, update or uninstall any library, any library required for project. For your project, if you want to install, update any library, you can easily do that by using a package manager software. Actually, there are so many package managers. There are various other package managers. What are the other package managers you are having? Like Yarn is a package manager. Bower is a package manager. And we have like Ruby Jumps is a package manager. So Composer is a package manager. So many package manager softwares are there. And if you install Node.js on your computer, you will get a package manager called NPM. By using package managers, you can easily set up and install any library that you want. So you have to install Node.js from official website, I will show you. This is the Node.js official website, nodejs.org. This is the official website of Node.js. I will give a link of that here. Generally, it is always good as a web developer to maintain a package manager so that it is easy for your projects. For example, you have to install any library. Through package manager, it is very easy. Without package manager also, I will show how to do, but package manager is good. So what is the purpose of package managers? They will allow you to easily install, update any library. 
so generally web developers everybody have a package manager in their computer you see now this is the official website of bootstrap this is bootstrap and if you want to use bootstrap they will give an option download in order to use bootstrap you have to download when you go to download observe here they will provide you package managers they will say that if you have package managers it is easy you can download and these are all the different package managers and uh, by installing node.js which package manager you will get npm is the package manager you will get so what you have to do download this node.js open this website node.js.org and here you will find download in the download don't download the current you download the recommended because this current is for the people who already installed and they want to update to the latest you have to download this lts long term supported version you have to click on this 20 it will give you a setup file and it will install that library here it is nothing complicated just open it two three steps it will guide you you install next 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 finish i am already i am already having it so i am not installing this you just follow the basic steps how you installed your other software same process there is nothing change once you installed in it now what you have to do is after installing once check is it working or not after installing check the versions from a command prompt you have a command prompt you know open your command prompt and uh, type like this node hyphen v and uh, npm hyphen v this is a node version and npm version to check whether it is working or not node package manager version and npm version so you have to make sure that you are having this first install node.js on your pc after you installed it open the command prompt and uh, in this command prompt this is your command prompt here you have to type node v this is the node version and we have npm v this is the package manager version so if it is showing something like unable to recognize command that means it is not installed properly you have to check once right so if it is installed successfully it will show the version this is the node version this is the package manager version okay you have the node js perfect next you need another software i hope you already have it you have to download and install you have to download and install visual studio code you already have a right you already installed this visual studio code that is the software what is it visual studio code visual studio code is an editor it provides an id from where you can build debug test deploy your applications you need to download this visual studio code this is what editor like visual studio code hundreds of editors are there anything we can use but we will use this visual studio code editor i hope you already have them no need to show this again right you already installed this visual studio code editor from the official website of visual studio code editor this is the visual studio code editor right this is the official website of visual studio code you can get it from here this is the visual studio code editor official source you can get it from here 
you already have na everyone right good so no need to show that next what you do is to make our bootstrap and css working better what you do is open visual studio code studio code editor and install install the following plugins following extensions open visual studio code editor and install some extensions which are important and good for web development that means what you do you open visual studio code editor this is visual studio code editor already we have this visual studio code editor actual the editor looks like this this is the visual studio code editor what you do is left side you will see there is a extensions button click on that extensions button and uh, here you search for some extensions that i will give you so you have to download and install those extensions what are the extensions you need one is live server another one is vs code icons and uh, another one is intellisense for uh, css class names in html you search for these three and install them in vs code one is live server another vs code icons another intellisense for css class names in html actually live server is required for testing our project after designing web pages always it is good to test your pages on a server generally many times people have an habit of opening the directly double click and open a html page and test that's not good always you have to test your pages on server because how they work on server in the same way they work on real time that's the reason you should have a live server what you do go to extensions here there will be a live server you install this live server in your vs code this live server is required for running our pages and testing them right you just add this already i have installed here you will get a button just install it another one is vs code icons you install this one also as a web developer you have to work with lot of files and uh, identifying files by their extension is little difficult if you have this tool every file have a good icon so that you can easily identify html files one icon css files another icon so that you can see and easily understand that okay this is html this is css so better have this another one is intellisense for css class names in html you install this why this is important because after we have two sessions of bootstrap you will come and ask sir how to remember all these because hundreds of classes will be there you will immediately ask like how to remember all this for that this will be helpful if you install this while typing it will help you it will suggest you it will show you some list asking that do you want this so that it is easy because at beginning level you can't remember everything then uh, while typing if it shows help then it is good so better you install this because you need to work with hundreds of classes and uh, remembering all of them in all ways is difficult for learners so if you have this it will help you you have to set up all these three things understood in your vs code already you have them huh? all these if you have all these it's very good otherwise make sure that you are having this okay like next important now your 
your device is ready for building a project. Let's create a project now. So we will create a project for a bootstrap. For bootstrap. Let's create a project for bootstrap template designs. We will create a project for bootstrap template design so that we will learn all the examples in this project. We have to create a project for the design. How do we create a project? First, open any location on your PC and create a folder. That means in your computer, D drive, C drive, E drive, anywhere, you create a folder. I will give folder name Bootstrap Workshop, right? You give any name. I'm giving a folder name some Bootstrap Workshop. For your project, you give some name. You maintain a folder and keep everything here. So what we will do here is, let's say, I will open my PC location. And uh, in my computer, I will select some D drive and uh, I will create a new folder and I will give as bootstrap workshop. So this is the folder name I'm creating. It's an empty one as of now. So for your project, create one folder. Okay. After that, now open folder in a uh, Visual Studio Code. You have to open the folder in Visual Studio Code. So you have to open the folder in Visual Studio Code like this. So go to Visual Studio Code, go to File menu, open folder. And where is your project folder? It is in D drive. It is Bootstrap Workshop. That is the folder you are selecting. And in many of your PCs, it will show a screen. Do you want to trust this folder? You have to say yes. That means security wise, some questions it will ask like, this is a new folder you are trying to open. Do you want to trust this folder? You say yes. Make sure that you are selecting yes. Okay, now folder is ready here. How to set up the project? How do we set up a project? Let's see how to set up the project. According to the tradition, what we have to do is open terminal in Visual Studio Code. Open terminal in Visual Studio Code. You can open it with Control plus backtick as shortcut or you can go to terminal menu and you can select new terminal. In the terminal, you will get here a terminal. Here, you have to run some commands to set up everything for your project. I will show you what are the commands. So see here, this is this is our uh, project in that you can go to terminal menu there will be a terminal menu here let's put this yeah there will be a terminal menu in that new terminal when you select new terminal a command prompt will come like this this is command prompt this is command prompt in this terminal, what you have to do is you have to run the command. I will show you some commands. That means we need to install Bootstrap now. To install Bootstrap in your computer, you have to run NPM. NPM means what? Node Package Manager Bootstrap NPM install. Install Bootstrap space bootstrap hyphen icons space jquery and save these all you have to install 
to use bootstrap in any project you have to make sure that you installed bootstrap bootstrap icons and uh, jquery bootstrap bootstrap icons and jquery these three are required to use bootstrap perfectly to use complete bootstrap in any project you have to install what is the advantage of this package manager it will connect to their website it will download all the files and uh, keep them in your project actually if you don't have package manager what we have to do visit their website download the library copy the files go to project paste them that's all not good idea if you are a developer through a command you must able to install library through a command you must able to update the library later if any new version comes then just run one command update bootstrap automatically it updates to the new version so let's run this and see now you observe carefully current your project is empty nothing is here you just install npm install for install you can just use shortcut i also okay so install we have bootstrap and uh, bootstrap icons and uh, jquery and uh, save make sure that you are giving like this capitalization matters spaces matters everything matters if you mismatch anything it will not work so make sure that bootstrap is one word and bootstrap hyphen icons is one word and jquery is one word you have a space then hyphen hyphen and save that is flag save now when you hit enter automatically it is going to download everything for you observe carefully it is downloading everything for you see the interesting part automatically in your project a separate folder is added and see some new files are generated here whatever the libraries that you install all those library files are kept in a folder called node modules which library you installed which version you installed all that information is kept in these files package json you know generally when you learned web development you might have learned package json is metadata that means it contains information about your project which version project it is what libraries you are using which version libraries you are using not only that several shortcut commands also we can configure here but as of now you just need to run the command it will generate everything remember bootstrap related all files are kept in a folder called node modules whatever you install all the files are kept here observe when i open this in this node modules you will see bootstrap bootstrap icons jquery and popper are present these are all required for using bootstrap in a project and you will get that just by installing one command installing one command so what will be done when you do this so here all library files library files are installed into a folder node underscore modules all library files are installed into a folder node underscore modules node modules so the project with the bootstrap with the bootstrap requires requires following libraries what are the libraries it require one is popper so already we have a popper p o p p e r yeah popper another one is bootstrap another one is uh, bootstrap icons and uh, one more is jquery these all are required 
and automatically they will be installed into your project by running this command everything is ready so you run the command and automatically everything will be installed so how to link them and use them in a project let's see one example we will see that so here what we need to do is now our project is ready to use bootstrap then we will create our html pages you know as per the project standards add following folders into project two folders you need to add into project one is public another one src in any real world web application every project comprises of two folders mandatory one is public another one src in future any web technology you are learning you will find these two folders you will find node modules you will find public you will find src everywhere in angular in react in vue every web technology maintains these folders professionally and uh, what is present in node modules all the library files and what we what are the two files two folders you need public folder another one src actually public this is used to keep all static resources you can keep all static resources here static resources means what static resources means html images documents so videos audio video all such content are kept here and src is used to keep all dynamic resources dynamic resources means what css sas scss js ts typescript jsx these are all called dynamic resources javascript typescript css jsx all these kind of resources are kept in a folder called src so every professional project in the world will maintain two folders for a project one is public another one src all static resources are kept in public all dynamic resources are kept in src so what we have to do is see we will add two folders be careful many times you people suppose you selected node modules there are two buttons new file and new folder when you create a new folder it will create a folder inside the selected make sure that you created outside that means click outside and create a new folder one is what public so create another folder this one is what src this is public and src and according to the tradition in public folder you will keep all static files that means we will keep our html files images everything here css javascript files we will keep in src so what we will do go to public folder add our startup page as per the project tradition you know every project starts with a page called index right you keep an index page index dot what html this is the startup page you have once you have this page design your index page you know in your visual studio code emmet is enabled emmet is nothing but shorthand emmet e m e t emmet is shorthand put a exclamation and press tab a html template will be generated this is always available in visual studio code you just put a shortcut you know i don't i am not teaching you html here you know already how to design your html page right emmet is a shortcut for generating templates you just use an exclamation and press a tab then automatically template will be generated here okay now let's see here so what we are doing we will keep a heading so bootstrap and uh, 
here we will put a paragraph some rapidly rapidly build interactive ui something like this i am designing now we will start this currently bootstrap is not working in this page how to make it work i will tell you we will right click in the page and select open with server live server we install live server now you have to just right click and open with live server that means now it will start your index page and it will show you here this is how we generally start our websites web application but uh, here bootstrap is not working we have to link bootstrap to make it work and you will see the difference now once bootstrap is working how do we set up let's see first thing next after this what you have to do add a new file index.html into public folder then uh, design your html page you know how to design a html page then uh, here right click in the page and uh, open with live server that is how you start up and now very important to use bootstrap in any page to use bootstrap in any page you have to link the following files you have to link the following files let's see what are the files you have to link you have a head section am i right in head section you have to link two css files how to link css files to link css files you have a link tag na link relation is equal to what style sheet and href is equal to dot dot slash dot dot slash means it comes out of current folder our current folder is public in public folder we have a index page to come out of that folder you have to use dot dot slash when you come out of public folder you can access node modules in node modules you will have bootstrap icons in that bootstrap icons you will have font in that bootstrap icons dot css this is one file you have to link another file link relation is equal to style sheet href is node modules in node modules bootstrap dist css bootstrap dot css these two files you have to link this is in head section you have to do these two are already installed we installed by using npm npm install all are present in which folder node modules what you have to do you have to install by using this npm install bootstrap first you do that then you will get all these files what you have to do you need to keep everything in this location so the bootstrap css files you have to link in head section it is not done you have to do one more work in the body section you need to link to script files actually script files also we can link in head section but uh, bootstrap official team recommends that better keep the script files in body section because they designed some effects in such a way that they will work better when you keep in body according to the recommendation of bootstrap people who designed the library they say that in head section also you can keep scripts but make sure that you keep the scripts in body for a better performance because if you don't follow what they recommend some issues will come to avoid that we will follow exactly how they recommend according to their recommendation in body section you need to to keep two script files one script file script src it is node modules in that 
you will find jquery dist jquery.js. This is one file you have to keep. And another file, script, src, node modules. And uh, here, bootstrap in that dist, in that js, bootstrap bundle.js. These two files you have to link. These two script files you need in body section. So two CSS files are required and two JavaScript files are required. Now your page is perfectly ready for using Bootstrap. That means now you can use complete Bootstrap in your page. You design all your content in the body section. You design everything in the body section. So make sure that these two are set up perfectly. Remember, for CSS, there is no order problem. First you link bootstrap, second you link icons, it doesn't matter. For JavaScript, order matters. Make sure that first file is which one? jQuery. After that, another file is what? Bootstrap bundle. Bootstrap bundle. You have to do this. Let's link these and see. Observe carefully. Currently, your bootstrap page, this page looks like this. There is nothing special, difference, anything here. It looks like this. Observe now. I will uh, go to the head section. Here in head section, we will create two files. Link relation is equal to style sheet. href is dot dot slash node modules in that bootstrap icons font bootstrap icons dot css. The path I already given complete there. Another file, link relation is equal to what? Style sheet, href is what? Node modules, bootstrap, dist, css, bootstrap dot css. Once you do this, in the body section, you need two files, script. And the script source is node modules, jquery, dist, jquery dot js. Another script source, it is node modules, bootstrap, dist, js, bootstrap, bundle, dot, js. Once you set up all this, observe carefully now. Once you set up all this, you will find some change in your project. Any change? No change, yeah? Font style changed. Indent also changed, little bit alignments, everything changed. Observe carefully. I will remove these CSS files. Usually the page looks like this. Huh? When I link the bootstrap files, automatically bootstrap file changes. Some effects already change. Not only that, so many changes you will see now. Here, first, what you have to know is I will show you all the concept one by one, how this bootstrap is effective. I will tell you detailly. Uh, first, you, you have to learn how to use bootstrap icons. Actually, bootstrap provides several icons. In your web designing, you need a lot of icons. You can now use them. How to use bootstrap icons? Actually, every icon every icon is defined is defined using class name every icon is defined by using class name we have some class names so it will be like bi and bi some icon name for example twitter we have bi some bi say facebook like this Hundreds of icons will be there. BI, some house. Like BI, BI, some person fill like this. I will show you from where you can get all the list. In web designing, icons are important. In web development, icons are very important. So see what we do here. For example, how to get these icons? Actually, Classes, how to apply a CSS class, you don't know? 
classes are applied applied to any html element by using by using class attribute am i right that means these classes are applied to any html element by using class attribute so what you have to do now for example see here we want some option like suppose i am giving see this is the page we are having in this page in this page if you want to put some icon for this heading we want a icon if you want an icon suppose i will give a paragraph or anywhere suppose this is like register user something and if it is register user that is a heading suppose you are creating a form or something now you see here for this heading you can put a class bi bi person and automatically you will see some icon will come you have like person fill then you will see there is an icon like this in web development you need lot of icons all those icons you can design by using this for example see i will keep a div so class bi bi some twitter you see a twitter icon will come right we have a twitter icon so we have like div so we have class bi and bi facebook and you can see a facebook icon will come you can add any icons for example here i will put here a span you know spans divs and all no need to explain them class bi and bi suppose cart 4 you can see a shopping cart like will come these are all the icons for example anywhere suppose you are designing a button huh? you learned buttons right in this button so add to cart or the button is like buy right and for this button bt and uh, here bi bi cart 3 or 4 you see it will come like this these are all bootstrap icons and how do i know which icon which class is present you have to visit this website getbootstrap.com uh, directly i will give their icons icons.getbootstrap.com you visit this website in this website this is the website icons.getbootstrap.com visit this website all your icons are available to use now you can use the icons easily you can design the icons and work with the icons easily icons.getbootstrap.com so you visit here you will find hundreds of icons here see so many icons will be there in that which icon we want suppose i want a controller icon you click on that icon they will give you the class name for that can you see the class name here bi bi controller so if you want to display this icon what you have to do you have to just put a span or div anywhere am i right so suppose we will put a button and for this class bi bi what it is controller and here say play and you can see the controller and play means it will get you this one and still you haven't learned bootstrap if you learned bootstrap currently you learned only icons if you learned bootstrap you can make these buttons very attractive that's what we are going to learn how bootstrap will make everything very effective interactive with simple logics suppose i will just roughly show detail we will see later see this button have btn btn warning and you can see button looks like this now you just apply some classes like btn outline suppose like 
outline warning and you can see it looks like this and it will be like this. Dissolve possible by using what? Bootstrap. So currently you just first have to practice up to this. This is enough for today. Right? Every day our session, tomorrow sharply we will start the session by 4.10 and up to 5.15 every day. Every day one hour session will be there because bootstrap looks very simple but you can't handle if you don't practice. In one day, you will learn so many things that you can't manage if you don't practice. Okay. You just saw today how to create a project, how to install Bootstrap, and how to use icons. You try up to this. Tomorrow, we are going to deal more with this. That means, what is our next coming days concept? In the coming days, we are going to design like this. The nav bars, search bars, carousals with animations, all these we are going to create. Tomorrow itself, you will see some more concepts, right? Tomorrow we will continue. All these notes I will upload in a Google Drive link and I will share with you tomorrow. Tomorrow I will share a Google Drive link. You will get everything notes there, right? This is just a five days workshop on Bootstrap for people who learnt already HTML and CSS. So in these five days, we will able to learn building some templates. Okay, now, is it clear today? Right, then tomorrow we will continue. Okay, right.